Do you want to get Docker running in your Raspberry Pi while running Windows? Let's see the easiest way to achieve this. Hi, I'm Oz. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way you can have Docker running in your Raspberry Pi using Windows. So let's begin. So what do we need? A Raspberry Pi. In my case, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 2. An SD card. A nano SD card for Raspberry Pi 2, a computer to install tools and flash the SD card, and well, an internet connection. What software do we need? Basically, a zip extractor like 7zip, a software to flash the SD card, for example, Win32 Disk Imager, a software to establish connection to the Raspberry Pi like but um, something to identify the IP address of the Raspberry Pi like Zenmap. I'll put links to all of this in the video description. First thing first, let's go to https://blog.hyperiod.com slash downloads to download the latest version of Hyperiod Docker image for Raspberry Pi. I have downloaded version 1.7.1. The download is about 249 megabytes. As you can see here, let's extract this zip using 7-zip. I will extract this to a folder with the same name. After the 7-zip is finished with extracting, you'll have a file with extension IMZ. Um, in the next step, we will flash this into our SD card. So let us open the Win32 disk imager. Right click, run as administrator. Once the Win32 disk image is open, insert your SD card or your nano SD card into your computer. The next thing to do is select the blue folder icon and navigate to where you extracted your image file, select it, press open. Now press the right button to start the flashing. So it says um, um, writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. OK, the write is successful. Press OK and let's close Win32 Disk Imager. Let us try to boot our Raspberry Pi by first putting our SD card into the designated slot, then plugging in the power adapter. After you do that, the Raspberry Pi will boot and the LEDs should start blinking. The very first boot can take a few minutes because it's trying to resize the file system. Let us use Zenmap to find the IP address. I will target my local IP address that is 192.168.2.1. And I'll use the command nmap minus sn and scan the network. Let's fill. So, as you can see, we found the Black Pro, that's the Hyperiod OS that we install in our Raspberry Pi with the IP address 192.168.2.113. I'm going to copy this, open PuTTY, and put that in the host IP address and click open. So you get a login as dialog. I'm going to use pirate. That's the default username set in the OS and the password hyperiot, H-Y-P-R-I-O-T. And there we go. We are now inside our black pearl. So the next thing to check is to see whether we have Docker already installed. 
d o c k e r info docker info to check the installed docker as you can see we have docker pre-installed great congratulations now you have succeeded in getting docker running on your raspberry pi in future videos i will show you the basics of docker and show you some examples what we can use docker for till then and if you like these kinds of videos don't forget to subscribe